I'm Regan. If you're not new, you're probably wondering why I haven't made any videos in the last month, especially because I said I was going to because I had just moved out to LA, and I'll tell you why. The reason why I did not film really any of my time in LA was because the vlogging camera that I had been using and had filled with all of this footage that I was going to show, um, I left it in a rental car under a seat because I was trying to protect it from getting stolen when I had like left the car and I ended up hiding it so well that I also forgot it. So I'm in the process of trying to get the back. That's a whole other story. But anyways, that is why I am here back in Pennsylvania with all of the fall foliage. And uh, I got no footage from LA yet. But although I love LA, right now for the time being, I'm back in my hometown and I decided what better place to go fall thrifting than in this beautiful fall location. It's so cute here. So before you go thrifting, especially when it's a change of seasons, make sure to go through what you already have, see what you need, what you don't need, um, see what you can make work from last season so you don't really have to just like buy just for the sake of buying. I um, mean, also when you're going through your old stuff, find the stuff you know you won't wear, put it in a box and bring it with you when you go thrifting and donate it back. And I think that that's super important just to keep that cycle going so that you don't end up just hoarding a bunch of clothes that you don't need. And you can give those clothes to people who do need it and who do want it. So I highly recommend doing that first, which I did. And I have the big box of clothes in the back that I'm gonna be donating today. Um, I just think that that's something super important that can be kind of easily overlooked. Also another fun thing with thrifting is to actually find out the different mission statements behind the companies and the, the stores that you thrift at. Most thrift places will have some form of um, sub, like mission that they are supporting, whether that's a nonprofit um, or they're just helping their employees you know, get jobs and benefits and different things like that. But I think that that's a fun thing that you can check out because it kind of varies from place to place, like what they're supporting. But it's cool to know where your money's going and what it's helping. Anyways, all that to say that we are about to be at Goodwill, which is one of my favorite places to go thrifting. And they do a lot of cool work in the community and supporting different um, families and ways for people to get jobs around here where I live. But I'm about to be there. I also don't know what I ordered. It kind of tastes like um, the herbs on like meat at Thanksgiving. Does that make sense? Okay, finally made it. I'm not gonna waste this, so I'm trying to drink it really fast and uh, let's go thrifting. They already have all the Christmas sweaters. Oh boy. I found these pants and they have kind of a wild belt, but I think the overall pants might be cool. They're, they look like they'd be high waisted, so. We'll check them out. Pro tip, if you're thrifting during Halloween season, make sure to look at the costume section, even if you're not looking for a costume, because there's often some really cool pieces that are hidden among like the costume and stuff. Paycheck is Butter. This is not my size, unfortunately, but I love this dress. I've been trying to find some skirts like this, but this one is not my size. But for fall, there's just some cool trends coming back in in a certain, like, the skirt section, so make sure to check those out. They're actually kind of cool. They look like, um, they're really, like, barely worn. But it could kind of be, like, a cool look for fall. I'm just not a big fan of, like, shoes, so I'm trying to branch out. Okay, they definitely would be cool, but they don't fit me. Also, I've been on the hunt for like a two-piece suit, so I've been looking and typically it's like in the dress section. Like, who else loved Sperry's? I was like, I still remember they like first got bought a pair and I was so excited. And now they're all in thrift stores. <laughs> These are kind of interesting. So I found these, which I love, but they unfortunately are not my size. They just look super cozy. I'm getting a lot of fall color things, so I'm really excited, but I am actually going to try this stuff on because the changing rooms in my area just recently opened up, so I guess we can press it on them. I thought in theory this would be cute, but it's super soft, but like maybe tucked in it would be cute, but it's kind of weird that it has like this matching shirt underneath of it, and I can't really do anything to change that. But that problem when your mask just gets stuck on your earrings all the time. So this is just a good like throw neck in the shirt thing to wear and um, I got a couple of things uh, jackets I'm gonna try on so that'll be a good thing to try on underneath just to see like if I like the overall look of them so let's we'll see it's cozy um but it's like kind of bad shape in here but um I don't 
know, it's not bad. It's like fleece, so it'd be really warm. So this is the second big jacket that I found. Um, but I think this one is like, it's a bit too big. I wish there was a little bit more high-waisted, so I'm probably gonna skip these two. It's gonna be pretty high-waisted. It has some like kid patterns on it, and I think it might be like a larger child size, but um, I think if I take that off, I like to wear this with like a tied up t-shirt or something. I don't like this, but you know, it has potential. <laughs> I was thinking of like a big long like overcoat and like some high boots, but I just, I'm trying to branch out, but I just don't like this. I think it's a little bit too dated. I spotted this bag, which would probably be so cute, but it doesn't have a latch on it. Like the latch is broken. Which is a bummer, because it would be super cool. Never forget to check the accessory section. There can always be some cool little things, especially belts. So I am done with a first Goodwill. I think I'm gonna go to another one and maybe a Play-Doh's closet for feeling extra. There's, you can always find good stuff at Play-Doh's closet, but I just don't count it as thrifting. I guess it is, but it just feels like it's kind of cheating a little bit because everything's like already picked through in the sense of like it's already chosen what's actually in that store. Um, Nonetheless, I will try that and then look at all the stuff that I found. Maybe, hopefully there's some good stuff, I'm not sure. I need a quick detour to pick up my boyfriend because he also wants to come join in the thrifting adventures. Man, need to breathe. It has some good music out right now. Okay, Goodwill round two. I love the colors of this one. Plain tie-dye. I wish I liked tie-dye because that would be really convenient. Found a pair of Nike Airs. Um, unfortunately, they are in the guy section. They're also really dirty, but they could potentially be cleaned up and cool, but they are way too big. These are something. Maybe vintage Z box. Oh my gosh, these are cute. I wish that they were high waisted, but they are not. And I have a stain on them. Okay, so I just found this jacket, and I didn't think it for me, but it does. If you take a look at it, it's super old. Like the tag is like. I don't even know, but um, it kind of looks like the Carhartt jackets, but it has like a feminine touch and it's smaller, so I might get it. Okay, on to Plato's Closet. Here they make it like really easy with different sizing and stuff, so that's why I say it's kind of like cheating. Okay, so the sun is almost set, but we're going to one other Goodwill location before we call it a day, and then I will show you all the stuff that I got tomorrow. So thank you so much if you made it this far. I got back to my room. I have all the clothes here and I'm gonna try them on and show you the ways I'm gonna style them. So here we go. Okay, so this is this Ride On Freedom shirt that I found. I might be bleaching this, but right now I'm just pairing it with a pair of biker shorts and some high top Converse. I also like this idea of just tying it up a little bit to break up the outfit a little bit more. Okay, so I found this army jacket and I'm just pairing it with the biker shorts and the Converse again. Okay, so we all know that you can basically use a flannel for anything, but for this, I wanted to spice up this outfit a little bit by making it a little bit more dressy, so I added some more gold jewelry. And also those shoes that I found, I ended up purchasing those, and I just paired them with this outfit. So here are the shoes up close a little bit. They're definitely gonna be uncomfortable, but hopefully worth it. So this is another outfit that I could wear this big jacket with when it gets a little bit colder out and potentially change the shoes, obviously. <laughs> Okay, now I'll be the first to admit that this is a bit of an edgier look than I would typically go for, but I was trying to come up with a unique way to pair this velvet skirt that I ended up buying. And it fits pretty like snug, but it has some like cuts at the side. So I just paired it with a pair of Doc Martens and then like a cropped black sweater. So it's like a black on black look. Okay, so this is one of my Plato's closet finds. I just got this simple maroon dress and I'm also just pairing it with my Docs again, um, or I can dress it up obviously, but thinking fall, I'd probably be wearing boots. Also, this could work with like a denim jacket or something when it gets cold out. This was a sweater that I was definitely a little questionable about and I still kind of am, um, but I decided to get it anyways because it has like all the fall colors in one place and I just love that. So I paired it with a high-waisted pair of pants and then just some black boots. I ended up buying this shirt. I just think it's good for so many undershirt purposes as it gets colder to just have a little bit of a turtleneck, but also something that you won't be sweating in the whole time. Um, and I don't remember the last time I was in a skirt, but I found this at Plato's Closet. And I also found these shoes. They're like this cool brown leather. They're Jeffrey Campbell, so they're like pretty fancy, but I found them for like 20 bucks, 
um, which is actually the most expensive thing out of all these pieces that I bought because everything else is under $5. I just thought this was a good kind of like blank canvas outfit that you could add denim jackets or something. I have this cool scarf that I thrifted a couple weeks ago that I thought matches this outfit pretty well, but I don't know how to incorporate scarves into my outfit. I was thinking my hair or like on my neck or something or my waist, I don't know. If you know how to work scarves into outfits, let me know in the comments below because I would greatly appreciate that. Another t-shirt I found at Plato's Closet for like a dollar and it's just an old express like varsity tee. And I just paired that with some patterned pants, my docks, and then this acid wash denim jacket. Okay, so not gonna lie, I was definitely struggling with how to wear this gold shirt for a second because it's definitely a little bit out there, but this is the gold halter that I found from Goodwill. And I just paired it with some rib cage denim from Levi's and then maybe this flannel again if it gets cold out. I also found this guest t-shirt and I just paired it with these jeans again and just some chucks. Okay, so I'm switching mirrors. Ask me why I have two in my room. I'm trying to sell this one and get rid of it, so that's why. But um, this is just this outfit. I just have some sneakers, some old Levi's, and this cashmere top that I found at Goodwill, which I absolutely love. If you go to the sweater section, you find cashmere, get it. It's so comfy, no itch, which I love. And it can basically be worn with like anything. Also, just in case I never get any of the footage back from California, I also thrifted this giant uh, bad boy out there and this can also go with anything. So I thought that I would include it with this outfit um, just for some added warmth. Also, while I'm at it, I also added this to this outfit. This is the other jacket I found at Goodwill. It's kind of simple, but I think it could be cute with the right outfit. Okay, so here are some cool pants that I also found at Goodwill and I just paired them with those heels again and just this simple black shirt. So I love that suit pants are coming back in this fall because it just makes you feel so like professional. <laughs> Going along with the business professional theme, I also got this jacket and I just pair it with a white crop and then sneakers and jeans. Okay, this outfit I'm going full tourist vibes, but this is just this old St. Thomas tee that I thrifted. Some Levi's, I didn't go for shoes on this one, and then this old ball cap. Also, I get a lot of questions about these jeans, so I just wanted to note that they are the rib cage straight leg from Levi's, and they are typically on sale on their website, so you can check those out. This is one of the only non-thrifted items I wear, but I wear them all the time, and I highly suggest them to anyone that's looking for the super high-waisted jeans. And finally, I found this old Mario Kart shirt. It's tan, has this cool burnt orange color, so I decided to include this flannel again. It's from like 2005, so it's pretty cool. But it just looks like this, and then I just paired it with jeans and these sneakers again. Okay, so that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more stuff. A lot more is coming soon, so just stay tuned. And also, if you want to track more of like my outfits and different um, inspo things, you can check that out on Instagram, and I'll put my Instagram handle below in here. I hope this video gave you a lot of inspiration to go fall thrifting for yourselves, so go thrift, have fun. Let me know in the comments below how it goes when you go thrifting, and I will see you guys next time, hopefully on my vlog camera, but we will see. Bye.